Welcome back to our conversation about how we can choose to live with hope in our life. And I kind of want to pick up where we were yesterday as we were having a conversation about uh, asking for the grace, asking for God to give us patience whenever we need it the most. Again, just to kind of remind us of where we were yesterday. I said that, you know, suffering and, and struggle can sometimes be a lens through which we see our not only our current situation, but also our future. We can also have heightened emotions whenever we're struggling or suffering. And those heightened emotions, the intensity of our interior life, can sometimes be more intense than the subtleties of God's voice. When we're patient, not only does it give God time to be with us and to reassure us, it gives us time to to sense God's presence, to hear his voice, and to know where he is active in our life. And when we are asking for the grace to be patient, I want to encourage us today by knowing that God is active even if we don't see it. Let me give you a couple of examples, and I want to use two fictitious people, Adam and Eve. Let's pretend that those two people are married. Let's say Eve is really struggling with not only her own stuff in life, but she's struggling at this stage of her marriage, and she's struggling with everything that Adam is struggling with. And Eve is wanting to be a woman of hope, but she's struggling to be a woman of hope because of her own physical sufferings, and her heart is hurting because she feels constantly rejected by Adam. As she is asking to be patient, it might be a time where she is going to notice that God is doing something in her life, but it just looks different than what she was previously thinking it would look like. Let's say that Eve is particularly struggling with a sense of rejection, and that's not just something that happens in her current relationships, but maybe that's been a part of Eve's life uh, for a while. She may be asking God to take away the current suffering, but God, in order to do that, may be trying to speak to her pattern or her history of suffering. When we're patient, it's because God may be doing things in our life that are bigger than what we originally thought or that are different than how we expected things to happen. When we're patient, it gives us a chance to see other things that God may be doing in our life simply than the particular way, quote unquote, that we think God has got to move here. God also may be doing something in someone else's life and that we just don't see it, right? So Eve may be unaware of what God is doing in Adam's life, whether it is revealing to him through uh, a healthy conscience and some holy guilt, how he's acting. Or God may be speaking to him about the direction of his life. And he may not have the words or the, um, the, the, the space to share all that with Eve. So Eve is unaware of what God is doing in, in her husband Adam's life. When we're patient, it gives us time to notice not only what God's doing in our life, but what God's doing in someone else's life. Thirdly, whenever we're waiting in patience, it also strengthens our, you might say, spiritual muscles where we learn how to resist the ordinary temptations that come to us. When we ask for patience, we are then disposed to notice what God is doing in our life, in someone else's life, or simply strengthening us spiritually. Hope is not something that is dependent upon the external circumstances. We choose to be a people of hope because we choose to believe that God's doing something, even if we can't see it. I've often said we're not waiting for God to do something. We're waiting with God as he does something, which is exactly why we had a conversation a couple days ago about God's not dead. He's active and alive. And if I believe that, then I can be patient, trusting that he's doing something, even if I don't see it. Come on back tomorrow as we kind of draw everything into a conclusion today, give you some things that you can pray with as you look at practical areas of your own life. But for today, I just want to remind us that even if we don't see what God is doing, God is active in our lives now, teaching us how to be patient. God bless you.